Hello, everybody. It's me, Will. Hi, guys. Me, Kristen. And we are back, finally. Finally. Talking about Hunt a Killer. That's right. I'm ready to hunt them. I'm ready Solve to them, know. catch them, string Stop. them up. Stop those killers. Mm -hmm. I have had this policy my whole life. <laughs> Killing is bad. All right. I've said that once. I've said it too many times. I don't agree to that, but I love my brother, so I'm willing to adhere to it when I'm with him. We've got a bit of a, you know, sort of like a, you know, lethal weapon. Mm -hmm. We've got the loose rogue. Yeah. A little bit of an odd couple kind of thing. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I'm Felix Unger and I'm messy. Was he the messy one? No, Felix Unger, I think, was like really, really put Fastidious. together. Fastidious? Yeah. Oh. And I'm Jack Klugman, because I don't remember the other guy's name, but I know he was played by Jack Klugman. Ah. Uh, he was. I kind of thought that On Jack Klugman show. was- No, I know. I know Jack Klugman was involved. I kind of thought that he was the fastidious one. <laughs> nice no, try. Walter that Matthau? was Tony Randall. Oh. Walter Matthau and, and Jack Lemmon were in the movies. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you testing me? <laughs> you think I don't know? Way too much about the odd couple. Yeah, you do know more about the odd couple than I would have guessed. Yeah. If I had thought about it. Yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hello in the chat. Wesley. Wesley, Christy, Christy Brenda. Brenda. We're so happy to see you as well. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since we've done. I know. Hunt a Killer. I know. It's been months. I know. Has it? Yeah, it's probably I'm been sure. about two months. Yeah. Oh, my. It's, yeah. it's my longest break yeah. since I started I've, doing the, the series. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. Hey, Robin. Yeah. Uh, I promise all will be revealed in good time. I've been you guys just a smidge busy. William's doing real cool stuff with Hunt a Killer. That's yeah. right. I am a Hunt a Killer employee. Yep. I think we've talked about this in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm not on Box Team. No, he's not. So he knows nothing about what's going on in here. And even if he was on Box Team, I still think it would be a little bit above his level. He would still have a hard time with the machinations. So don't worry about it. Oh, it's going to be a rough one tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that is literally all I'm allowed to say. Yeah. Isn't that cool, guys? Yeah, but, Maybe uh, not cool for you because it's annoying for you. Nah, but um, nah. it's cool for Will. Soon. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been very exciting. Yeah. Uh, but I have missed it, so I'm very glad to be back. Yeah. Um, if you've never tuned into one of these live streams before, uh, what you need to know is that we are going to spoil everything that is in this box. Mm -hmm. So if you are a hunt, uh, bleh, if you're a Hunter Killer member and you do not want to see what happens in Hunter Killer Initiation episode four, uh, tune out. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Is that for, could it just be frozen on our thing? I think it is. Okay. Yeah. We're not, uh, we're, are, we're, we're not frozen, right guys? Yeah, I don't think that's why I opened over here. It looks like okay, we're okay, still okay, good. running. Yeah, one of our okay. feeds looks like we're kind of froze owned, but okay. uh, everybody just like uh, check in if something goes wrong and mm -hmm. we'll try to fix it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but thank you all so yeah. much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Yeah, totally. It's really fun for us doing these because we're doing it with other people. Like we could just be doing this by ourselves, which would be sweet, but it's extra fun because you guys help us in the chat and everything. So thank you. Yeah for making it that way. Yeah, exactly. And if you are not watching this live, because yeah. there's a decent chance that you are not, mm -hmm. you should know that we always do our Hunt a Killer Theory videos live on facebook.com slash the haunted sponge. Yep. So like the page so that you can get updates for the next time that we're going to do <clears throat> one of these videos so you can be in the chat. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but everything that we do here does get reposted over mm -hmm. on YouTube, youtube.com slash talk bomb. Mm -hmm. So that is where literally every single Hunt a Killer monthly box uh, video lives. Yeah. We've done every single one and every premium box except for Hawthorne Junction, which right. I feel very negligent about. I really right. want to do that. Soon. We'll get to it. Yeah, we will. And well, of course, empty faces. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get back to that. I know. I love I'm, that I'm, so much. I'm very pumped about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, so we're going to start diving into the box in just a second here. Yep. One last spoiler warning for mm -hmm. you. If you are afraid, it is time to turn away. Yes. And if you are watching this live, we would greatly appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Yeah, yeah. Share this post so that other people who might be interested in the same things as you, as us, right. have an opportunity to tune in while we are still live. Yeah, and get to see something cool. Yeah, We're and it's share fun it for us. Real quick. Uh, also, Kristen and I love it when people just hit all the reaction buttons. Yeah, you can even hit the angry one. I don't care. I yeah. just like seeing that you guys are there. We don't care. Yeah. yeah. Charles is doing it as we speak. Yep, we just see a bunch you. of bubbles. See Charles of in it? Smiley faces and shocked faces and thumbs ups and hearts. That's the way. 
Let Charles be your guide. Yes, yes. Everybody do as Charles does. And you'll <laughs> never go wrong. That's right. Um, <laughs> yeah. But so we would really appreciate it if you'd share the video. Tell people about what we're doing here. And uh, yeah, I don't, I'd say we... Uh, yeah. Why Crack her open. Right into it. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. All right. This okay. is it, folks. This is it. Okay. So we did an unboxing video proper mm -hmm. on YouTube where we sort of like went over what these clues are individually. Yep. But uh, since then, Kristen and I have actually read like mm -hmm. the full letters and things from uh, Jasper, from Felix, from Sylvia. So we already have some idea of what they're about on the surface level. Right. But yeah, we're going to take a I have a lot a of questions. Look. I know. That you guys can maybe help me with. Yes. Uh, this, this one... I'm particularly vexed. I was gonna, by. I was gonna say vexed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris and I are brother and sister. We yeah. have the same vocabulary, and uh, well, we, a lot of the same a lot of thoughts and things like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but so there are a few things that I felt like were obvious right off yeah. the bat. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling that this is going to require some real, like you know, unilateral thinking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, to catch people up, basically on the storyline so far, just mm -hmm. in case. Mm -hmm. uh, Jasper Flowers is a patient at Listening Friends of America in Bozeman, Montana, mm -hmm. and he is up to no good. <laughs> That's right. Felix, who uh, heads up Listening Friends of America, has tasked us with trying to figure out what Jasper is up to because he strongly suspects that something is afoot, some sort of a plan, some sort of mischief. Yeah. He has given us six months to figure out exactly what is going on. Right, which is a heavy weight to bear for a volunteer. Yeah, I Don't know. Don't you think? Well, <laughs> I would also argue that there is a history that we have with this organization know, as the player character, and uh, Felix thinks very highly yes. of us, so he yes. believes that we are up to the job. And when you think highly of people, they tend to rise to the occasion, so he's making all the right moves. Yeah, we can't possibly disappoint him. No. Right? <laughs> Um, I hope we don't. Yeah. Uh, but what uh, we'll see. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have found out that Jasper is a killer. Mm -hmm. He murders people and dismembers their bodies. Yeah. Sometimes taking their hearts out of their chests. Right. He is obsessed with jewelry and watchmaking. Yeah. He has the mechanics of things, how things like fit together and help each other work. Exactly. So he is very interested in, I suppose, the human body. If... If that isn't the ultimate tinkering machine, I don't know what is. Yeah. Oh, he's a tinkerer, all right. Yeah. He loves to tinker. <laughs> uh, but so anyway, uh, there is a guard. Well, there is some suspicion about what's going on with the gardener. The gardener has been absent from the Bozeman Montana uh, Bozeman Montana facility for a while. Yeah, I've got some questions about all the players in oh, this. Oh, yeah. sure. And a dead body was found outside the perimeter of the fence. Mm -hmm. The overgrown you know, yeah. lush green foliage, which right. hasn't been tended hasn't to. Hasn't been maintained There's a dead by a body gardener. in that. Yeah. Um, the facility, Bozeman, Montana, is over, also overseen by Meg Gibson, who is a very questionable person. Yeah. Who says weird stuff. And in this month's box, episode four, uh, talks about how much she enjoys our, like, repartee with right. Jasper. Uh, I, and I, she's going on a trip. Yeah. And she's already said a bunch of weird stuff that makes her seem very enthusiastic yes. in a very creepy way. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think that, that you know, aside I, from like some like super specific details, I think that pretty much covers right. uh, the, the what's in front of us. Right. And we'll get into those details as we go through each item from the box. So I yeah. think that's a good overview. Yeah. Why don't we start then with the with one of the characters that we didn't really discuss in that at all. The sheriff. The sheriff? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that that's a good I, I do too. starting point. There's a sheriff, Randall J. Dietrich, mm -hmm. who has been uh, periodically paying visits to the Bozeman, Montana facility right. and seeing somebody called Dr. Cortez. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, Felix said, please go down there. I'm concerned. I think that something's going wrong. And every time, the sheriff comes back and goes like, everything seems fine yeah. until he found the body. Now, everything has changed. In this box... It's all flip turned upside down. Yeah, the sheriff ain't having it really anymore. This casual checking in and kind of keeping things quiet. Yes. Uh, Felix asked the sheriff, let's ignore the body for a bit. Let's figure out what's going on. And for some reason, the sheriff went, yeah. 
All right. Yeah. I'll uh, allow it. I'll give you time. <laughs> Why don't we sit on this corpse for a little bit? So weird. And then we'll see how everything shakes loose. Yeah. Uh, now he's being like, listen, I shouldn't have done that. I don't feel comfortable with where we're at. And uh, I'm just going to start making the decisions now. Something has to be done. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the sheriff and you're just the director of this place. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> You're not above the law. Yeah. yeah. I might as well go ahead and warn you. I'm not going to sit back and wait for you any longer. I've thought about this long and hard, and I see what I have to do now. Mm-hmm. So there was some uh, hullabaloo about a schedule at yep. the facility. Uh, Meg Gibson so good. was said to be on vacation at a time when Dr. Cortez was like, oh, yeah, no, she's on break right now. Yeah. So just like details weren't adding up, which right. obviously made the sheriff – concerned, mm-hmm. skeptical. Right. Um, and it raises some timeline questions for me. Yeah. This month, Meg is saying, oh, I'm going on a trip. Right. But in the past month's box, she was already meant to be on vacation. So did she leave these notes and they're coming to us later than she literally left for the trip? Or Did you review last month's box before you did this? A very little bit. Because I remember it as being not the time discrepancy on the schedule about Meg being on a trip. I remember it as being Dr. Cortez's day off or something. Like, I don't think that it was about Meg oh, being thought, away. I thought the sheriff just called it out in here though. Oh, then maybe. Uh, last time I was out of the facility, Dr. Cortez told me that Meg Gibson had just stepped out for her break, but the calendar said that she was supposed to be off that day. Oh, so maybe oh, it was just yeah, a yeah, day yeah. off. Right. Okay, fair enough. Um, so now that was just her day off. Now she's going on vacation. Okay. Right. And so sense. the thing was that like Dr. Cortez, you would think would know Meg's schedule. They work together every week. So it was very shady that Dr. Cortez was just like, oh, she's not here. She just stepped out thinking that she yeah. would have been working, but apparently she would not have been normally working. Yeah. So what's with Dr. Cortez? Yeah. There's also some weirdness. Uh, this is also jumping a little bit to the Sylvia letter, mm-hmm. but about just sort of like reversals of what we've seen right. so far. Right. Right. Uh, up until now, with that body that's like out in the mm-hmm. in the well, not really the woods, but outside the yeah. facility, we keep talking about the gardener who's not around, and the grounds are getting overgrown. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Sylvia says in her letter very clearly, uh, she says that the grounds are very well kept, mm-hmm. but the yeah, from what I could see, the grounds were well kept, but the rest of the place was pretty run down. Right. Now, I don't remember any claims about, like, the actual, like, infrastructure of the building. Everything no, was I don't all about think how so. the grounds were all messed right. up. Right. Lots of emphasis on the grounds. Yeah, I know. And now she's flat out being like, the grounds were fine and the building was messed up. Well, we, don't we know that the letters from Sylvia are out of sync? We, we it hasn't been like strongly, overtly, right, right, but right. we strongly suggest that they're not in order, right? Yes, I guess. So you're you're saying that maybe these were written before the grounds were yeah. like overgrown? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. all right, that would make sense, right? Because I think that we, you and I, again, it's not like not overtly said, but I think that we came to the conclusion that they were like backwards, these letters or something, right? So yeah, yeah. So maybe this just takes place mm-hmm. before somebody, presumably the right. gardener, was killed, right? And could no longer do his work. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, possibly. I saw there were some people that um, were commenting on uh, previous month's videos. Mm-hmm. And they had some interesting theories that I honestly had not really considered. We're coming at this very strongly from the point of view of uh, Jasper as a patient. Yeah. Somewhat of a prisoner. According yeah. to like Sylvia, where it's like, there are no visiting hours. Yeah. No one can yeah, see Yeah, that is you. very weird. Are you a patient at Listening Friends of America or yeah. a prisoner? Is it jail or is it a hospital? Right. Um, But anyway, we've been thinking about this as Jasper Flowers wants to break out, Mm -hmm. right? Somebody who commented, I think on YouTube, Uh said, I don't, I think Jasper is perfectly happy. Oh, okay. And like content to be there. Why does, maybe he doesn't want to leave. Huh. Which I thought was a very interesting point. Like That's maybe a totally this is not a story point. about breaking Jasper Flowers out. Maybe this is a story about Jasper Flowers having some other motive within the facility. So then it's just Sylvia who wants to break him out, but he's not necessarily into it. Cause she's written things in her letters about like meet me here and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like she seems to be all about a breakout plan. I know. So they think that's one sided. That's that. I mean, they didn't really go into much yeah. more detail than that, but right. I mean, I that's the theory. Think that would be the next logical yeah. step is like hmm. uh, Sylvia and Jasper are out of sync. Yeah. They're not, you know, motivated by the same things. Yeah. She's worried about his health. He's fine. 
Yeah, so kind of supporting that, Jennifer says, maybe getting to the craft window, which was in Sylvia's last letter, refers to the event that killed the gardener instead of a future escape. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. could be. That could be. Huh. The sheriff does make a point of saying that the body in the woods is like very decomposed. Right. So I guess that happened a while ago. Right, yeah. right. Uh, so the grounds would be, you know, messy. Yeah, yeah, sloppy grounds. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Oh, no, um, not a facility like this. Yeah, I'm going to pull up the Sylvia letter from this month. Yeah. Because there's some flip-flopping around of a few bizarre phrases on there that right. I think we could easily handle pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, every month Sylvia's letter seems to contain sort of like bizarre... Yeah, like hidden and, things. Yeah, and uh, this month is no different yeah. at all. So let's take a, take a look looky. at this. Okay. Um, let's go here. Mm-hmm. What box is this? This is the Hunt a Killer box. Um, this is box four of initiation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, which is uh, uh, put in another way. It is episode four of season three yeah. of Hunt a Killer. Um, so beware those spoilers. Right. This train has started. It will not stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here are the... Or breaking Sylvia in to replace Dr. Cortez. So that's oh. a big question that I have. So I know the last time William and I went, Will and I did this live stream, I believe is Will and I assumed that or and remembered wrongly, I guess, but maybe not, that Dr. Cortez was a man. Yeah. But then somebody in the live stream was saying that Dr. Cortez was a woman. And then did we resolve that? I, she is a woman. Okay, she is yeah, a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did, I did but out. so, yeah, so maybe that is a switcheroo thing. Yeah, yeah. maybe. So um, <laughs> you can see here, let me clip that down a little bit. Uh, you can see here that on Sylvia's letter, there were just sort of a few random phrases that didn't really connect to anything that she wrote anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I pretty quickly realized that uh, the two phrases connect to each other. Right. Uh, Sylvia's letter is all diced up. Mm-hmm. You can see like on the page that it looks like somebody has been like cutting and pasting like columns of the letter together. Yeah. It's very weird. Uh, but so you can see here, mm-hmm. uh, I realized it says, should it go maybe reversed? Yeah. So like, she had the paper one way and wrote this message on it, then cut it up to switch it all around so that she could write the main body of the letter. Right. So it'd be hidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, you know, I will come exactly, and then on the next thing, 2.30 in the, and then back up here, morning, Mm -hmm. my next letter. uh, Will tell you, uh, is it will tell you? Will tell you where to go from now. But I didn't use the one month in that. Was month? One month from now? One month. From now. Ah. Yeah, Yeah. I I didn't literally want to cut up the note. I have a uh, neurotic tendency to want to keep everything in pristine condition. Of course. As will be seen in another clue that we will tackle soon. (laughs) I made literally scans of everything so that I wouldn't have to destroy any of the paper. Yeah. Um, But we can chop it up here a little bit. Right. And I think maybe it should adhere to like each strip as its own. Yeah. Concise message. Uh Uh-huh. All right. So uh, now we've got everything diced up. We've got the ingredients for a phrase. Right. Okay. So one. Oh, good. I'm glad you caught us live too, Stephanie. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Cool. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Intake file says Willa Cortez. But in, then in the sheriff's first letter after the first meeting, there he says that Will's good people. I don't think he met Dr. Cortez. I think that was Jasper impersonating. That might be true. And I then know. just on a personal level for me, because I thought I was losing my mind, uh, that could be why I had so much confusion about the sex of Dr. Cortez. Right. I couldn't figure out where I was getting that it was a man from. So thank you. Uh, the sex of Dr. Cortez is I also know. My I know. I was thinking... <laughs> My favorite paperback. <laughs> the sex of Dr. Cortez. Ew, calling it the sex know, in like a steamy paper. It's paperback. pretty horrible. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, so here we've got, I will come exactly 2.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. My next letter. Yeah. Where'd it go? It's it's here. My next. Yeah. Next. 
And this is still like, there's still some assumptions being made here. Are you photocopy the note and cut it out? That's good, Brenda. Yeah, see, we're on the same page. I didn't want to destroy anything. Yeah. My next, let's get the word letter here. Mm-hmm. My next letter, uh, here's where to go, will tell you. Here we yeah. go. My next letter will tell you where to go, period. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do we have left over here? One month from now, right? Is that it? Month, right. Yeah. You think it's just one month from now? I think so. Oh, so maybe it's even like an episode five. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. One month. We didn't. Oh, we oh. did. I'll come exactly two thirty in the morning. Yeah, the next tell letter you. will tell you where to go. One month from now. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. That uses literally every piece, right? Yeah. Yep. All I right. Think good. So. Yep. I just wanted to make sure that there, because I felt like maybe if there was anything left over, mm-hmm. it might. Right. Have some significance. Right. I will come exactly two thirty in the morning. My next letter will tell you where to go. One month from now. Uh, tooth hurty cool. in the morning. Yeah. But the dentist is even open. <laughs> That's probably where they're going. That's where she's going to tell him to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's tooth hurty. Where, where do you think you should go? Right. Jasper. Put it all Come together, on. Jasper. I thought you were all about bodies and little parts and everything. You don't know how this works at all, Jaspy. Use your tinker in mind. Okay. So what else do you think about the Sylvia letter? Because I feel like the secret message here was oddly cut and dry. Right, right. I don't know. I wonder if when we're getting into something else, we'll end up referring back to it. There's nothing that sticks out for me, right? You know, that's plainly obvious, but I wonder if it's something that we're going to come to to find another clue. Yeah, I think that's probably true. So yeah, let's take a look at Jasper's letter. All right. So Jasper this month. uh, Or should we take a look actually at Felix's? Okay, we talked about go the sheriff. In somewhat and- order. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, the letter from Felix to us, the listening friend, is um, the sheriff will be gone by the time you read this. It's his prerogative, of course. He can ride off into whichever sense <laughs> into whichever sunset he so chooses. Too bad he never saw past the plywood facades lining the dusty dirt road. But th- but though his comprehension of our arrangement was limited to what I allowed him to know, he was my agent on the ground in Bozeman. It is down to you now. Pay, pay close attention. D- the devil is always in the details, as they say. And then what is this? We got to Google this. Yeah. Tasio Humani Felix. Yeah. yeah, you're right. How, how do you... Uh... T-A. T-A. C-E-O. C-E-O. Human with an I. Hu- yeah, the word human. Human. Oh. Yeah. Human. I. I. Yeah. Okay. Uh, taco human. Mm-hmm. Got it. Perfect. So uh, I had an order of uh, humani tacos last night. <laughs> I'll have the tacos humani, please. <laughs> I'll have the tacos. How many? Too many. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> give me too many tacos. Uh, we should also say maybe Meg and Sylvia are the same person. I interesting. I know. I'm I'm kind of on that. I think a lot of people are not who they say they are. Yes. This letter from Felix is the first time I think that Felix has seemed obviously uh-huh. uh sneaky. Yes, and weird. Yeah, very and very weird. Yeah, Brenda thinks the letters are out of order and she already said the window is the meeting place. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, the craft room window. Right. right. Yeah, how we've got a and there's a reference from Jasper about like uh, it's hard to see things work unless they come in the order you're meant to receive. Oh, that's right. right I was right. gonna, yeah, I was gonna say right. we should look back at previous boxes because the Sylvia letters were always out of sequence. Yes. But I wonder if there's anything else that Jasper is giving to us that doesn't make obvious sequential sense. That's happened in past seasons of Hunt a Killer, right? Where you had to go back to an old box to kind of. Figure something out. I mean, like not a ton. Yeah, but like, I'm not going right? to say anything specific. No, I know. At all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I won't even really confirm or deny. Okay. What I'll say is, like, with Hunt a Killer, mm-hmm. uh, like you're never, you should never feel like what's in the box is mm-hmm. all you have to do. Right. What's in the box? Yeah. Yes, that is completely true. So yeah. That is a sort of non-answer that right. you can get. Whatever I shouldn't have asked that question of. to tell you the well, truth. Well, it's not even a peek behind the curtain. I just don't want 
people to like because there there are other storylines that have happened with Hunter Killer. Yeah. That I just don't want to that we've done on the show. Yeah. Like I don't know anything. No, I know that's all I'm saying. I felt yeah. it, it was vaguely spoilery. I could have yeah, yeah, not yeah. said They're that. Just, that's all I mean. Yeah, just yeah. in case. Yeah. Just in case. Real quick, I like Michelle's theory right now. Um, I bet both Meg and Sylvia are obsessed over Jasper, Meg trying to help him stay while Sylvia trying to help him escape. Hmm. There's just something so weird about Meg. Meg is very weird. And the fact, it's like when you watch a scary movie or any movie, I guess, and there's like kind of an ancillary character yeah. and you're like, they're there for a reason. Like there's some reason we keep seeing the mailman because I, he's inconsequential. So he's going to have to have consequence at the end. And that's how I feel about Meg. I could not Like agree why more. am I looking at her packing list? Yep. You know what I mean? Like there's something up. So that would be a reason for Meg to be kind of in the mix. Yes. There's something up with Meg. I also don't like the fact that Meg is going out of her way to seem very friendly she's yes there's something really sneaky going on yeah with meg yeah um yeah but since we're jumping to the browser i do want right. to say if you are enjoying these videos if you've yeah. enjoyed the past videos that we've done mm -hmm. you really should consider if you have not already subscribing yeah. to hunt a killer yeah go it's to, totally sweet yeah go to huntakiller.com you can find out more information testimonials and stuff sign up uh, try it out. I think that you'll really enjoy it. Yeah. Just because I know there are a lot of people who enjoy these videos that we do that are not members themselves. Right. And that's great. Yeah, totally. But I think that you might also enjoy opening the box and not knowing what to do with the things that spill out. There's definitely something to opening the box and not knowing what's going to be in there and everything. Oh, yeah. And it's really fun. Like, you know, I don't think I've really thought about it in these terms until I'm describing it, but there's something cool and kind of tactile about going through all this stuff and seeing it and having like a weird ass cut out like this <laughs> yeah. that you're like, Oh, what am I going to do this? They're like little puzzle organ pieces that come with this. Yeah. Like it's a very cool thing or a name card with a bloody thumb. Yeah. With like it. a I 3d mean, bloody. On. It's awesome. Come on. Come in. All right. Uh, anyway, here we go. Let's uh, now talk about touch. Uh, why don't we just do straight up? Let's just do a Google translate. Okay. I have a feeling it is Latin. Okay. Right. Tachio Humani. My, yeah. my Google Translate is already said to, <laughs> to <laughs> because translate of all <laughs> from Latin. How funny is that? I say nothing of the human. <laughs> what? That's strange. Is that his sign off? That's going to be my new sign off. I say nothing of the human. Bye bye. <laughs> right now for Go work, on. it's warmly. Uh, Kristen, blah, blah. It is going to be Tachio Humani from now on. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. So I just did, if you search on Google with, um, you can't really, see, here, let me get our big heads out of the way. If you use uh, quotation marks mm -hmm. in a Google search, it'll search for yeah. literally that phrase, uh, and it only comes up with one Interesting. source. Interesting. Uh, oh. Tachio Humane. And it's all Latin, but we can look up the actual book itself here, mm -hmm. right, to get a little information. So we've got Johannes Termers, Gennant. You're not your ventus some kites and working. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Very good indeed. <laughs> uh, Johannes Turner's. Wow, they have this at Walmart? Why didn't they translate Do, the name do you find that surprising? I find it very surprising. Let's go to the Walmart page <laughs> yeah. and see what Walmart shoppers think of it. Yeah, what do they have to say? It has no reviews. <laughs> we could be the first to write a review. Wow. Uh, Samt liegt Verka, volume one. I assume Verka is work. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, why don't we... I don't know how far this is going to get us. Uh, humor me, though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to translate... Is Sam the the primary word here? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to translate this word. Okay. And 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 worka. Wow, the price discrepancy on these editions of this book are <laughs> extreme. <laughs> it's like 42 on Walmart, and then like 62 on Jet.com, and then like 480 from Google Books. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so Sam leaked some leash is the same thing. What yeah. does that word mean? Does that mean know. something? What's wait? Something's oh, wrong. Oh, German. Oh, okay. Plants. Oh, so maybe there isn't a all, all plants, all plants. I mean, potentially we don't know yeah. if that's actually right. So hold on. We got Latin. Maybe we should be trying German for, the, for this phrase. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's a book about plants i can't imagine the wikipedia or uh the walmart page walmart walmart mm -hmm. page is written in latin also does it not have any information 
you know, tried the I, place I wonder if like Walmart books. kind of, I wonder if it can uh, take things from Amazon to sell through itself or something. I seriously don't know, but like, it doesn't seem like you would really find that at Walmart or even just straight up on walmart.com. I wonder if there's some sort of weird link that Walmart has to other things so you can buy through them. Yeah. I think that's that, that I, I can see that. I don't know though. Um, some leashed. Oh, this is interesting. Jennifer says, I don't know if this means anything, but Winston Salem, North Carolina, Tar Heel, Horseshoe State, Maryland, um, Cockade, Florette State, South Carolina, Palmetto, Palm Tree State, all mentioned or depicted in Sylvia's letters. Oh, like across the yeah. entire season, you mean? That's very interesting. That Jennifer. is interesting. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder hmm. if that, if states. Hmm. Oh, okay. Susan sent us the Wikipedia page. Oh, okay, cool. Tachio. Oh, thanks, Susan. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, Verb, I am still. Hold my tongue, yeah. Or at rest. I leave unsaid, keep quiet. So, yeah, Tachio Humani would mean, would mean, you know, I say nothing or I leave alone. Yeah. The humans. humans. I am silent. Yeah. Yeah, I say nothing of the humans. So what is up with this? I say nothing of the humans. For, I mean, it sounds like. Pay close attention. The devil is always in the details, as they say, is his last line before Tachio Humani. I know. That makes me concerned because I tend to get, uh, I tend to overlook details. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I really hope that we don't just like completely ignore something very important. Like, I feel like. Could, I don't know how. Could this be Jasper in some, somehow? I don't think that is Felix. It's not, that's what I'm saying. It's not Felix. And I don't know what other sinister characters we have. I mean, or, you know, Felix is going nuts. Right. Right. Like, yeah. I don't know. But right. Yeah. The florets and palmettos were borders on letters. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, interesting. Hey. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. This <laughs> Charles, is very odd. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth. Get my name out your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Charles. Then she uh, talked about a horseshoe necklace. Huh. So what do you think? Like, do you think that that means that they're going to make an escape route through those states or something? Like, do you have any guess as to why she'd be mentioning those states or what significance that would have? Yeah, that's interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. I'm just curious what you think. See, even this, like, so she, I'm just going to sort of ramble a little bit if, if, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. In Sylvia's letters in the past few months, anytime she mentions jewelry, usually that is some sort of a code right? or it is the key to solving some, you know, hidden message right. or something. If she's mentioning horseshoe necklaces, mm-hmm. like I'm inclined to think that maybe that's the same kind of deal that, right. it, that it, it is like highly significant. But this letter, like I almost felt like really the the most important thing was the thing about the grounds. Like it felt like yeah. it was The grounds keep coming the the grounds are the inanimate version of Meg. They keep coming up over and over. There's something about the grounds. Yeah. Or the, I mean, the significance to their kempt, their state of kemptness. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like that felt like really the big thing, aside from the secret message. Right. But where does she say? Is it in this one even? That about she says what? About the horseshoe necklace? Because this is all about like trying to get into the grounds and learning the situation and being like, you know, I know you, don't I? I know mm-hmm. you. And talking to Dr. Cortez, who was like very chill. Yeah. Um, where did she say anything about a horseshoe necklace? Is that maybe it was in a previous maybe letter? Yeah, not to. And Jennifer says she thinks she was tracking a route, like letting Jasper know where she was. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Isn't she somewhat close by though? Because she keeps coming to visit him. I think so. Uh, we know he was in Maryland first, right? Isn't that where the first Listening Friends of America place was? Yeah, in Baltimore mm-hmm. was the first from seasons one and two, Listening Friends of America. But this they is... have multiple facilities, so I, I don't... Well, this is Montana, where they are. No, I know, but Jennifer yeah. is saying he wa- was Jasper yeah. originally in Baltimore. Oh, like, did moved. he get transferred? Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't yeah. remember exactly. I'm not sure. I kind of think I kind of think we just picked up in a new facility. That's what I felt. I don't think that he was transferred. So Tachio Humani, I say nothing of the human. That implies that the speaker is something above. <laughs> like it doesn't it seem like that yeah. is, is like putting yourself above humanity in a in a weird way. Yeah, or or kind of like a what's what's that? Is it misandry? Like just not caring about humanity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Either, I mean? So I think that it not could either mean... Not a great stance for the leader of Listening <laughs> Friends of America No, I think take. it either mean above or just like, I don't give a crap. Yeah, I'm very skeptical of Felix. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what I posit we should do is now look at Jasper's letter because I think we will start getting into solving things I and like having true. something to work on rather than just kind of like ponder. Yeah. I bet that'll come up in here. Yeah. Okay. So right off the bat, you know, you can notice like in other letters, there's some um, letters that are capitalized. Yeah. But that was in just Jasper's letter was broken, right? Oh yeah. That's right. I forgot. But like, but yeah, I, but I know what you're talking about. Cause I was also like, <laughs> that could be a smoke screen, but I, I kind of think it's yeah fine. That's right. Um, Okay, is there anything you got from this that you can think of off the top of your head? Yes. Okay. He talks a lot about acronyms. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. He, he talks about how in the medical community, they have constant acronyms, and he finds right. them to be, like, enjoyable and efficient because they convey a lot of information very succinctly. Um, and there's one other place, at least, in these clues where I saw an acronym mm -hmm. and started wondering, like, could that mean more? Than it does, mm -hmm. uh, and that is on what is presumably Meg Gibson's uh, travel to-do list. Yeah, item number one: buy a new DSLR. Mm -hmm. DSLR. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a camera. Yeah. Let's see, DSLR meaning because uh, yeah, I don't know what it actually stands for. Digital single lens reflex. So. Here's where I just sound stupid, I think, because I'm either making way too much of this where I'm like, ah, digital single lens reflex. Well, you know, Jasper seems to be very reflexive, uh, but, <laughs> but it made me wonder, like, medical community acronyms, yeah. here's an acronym, does DSLR have a different meaning right. to the medical community yeah, or something? Yeah, Google, right? yeah. DS yeah, DSLR, um, like, medical meaning or even just, like, medical Oh, well, we've got okay. an autocorrect, which seems encouraging. Uh, differential satellite laser ranging. Okay. Uh, 15 meanings. Oh, well, this is weird. Why did it preload saying like medical when this just seems to be sort of like a way to trick me into clicking on this page? Yeah. Uh, Division of State and Local Readiness. <laughs> Department of Space and Land Reclamation. Uh, Directorate of Settlement and Land Records, Days Since Last Race. Okay, maybe that's stupid. But, I mean, the acronym thing, definitely, there's something to that, for sure. And that's the most obvious acronym yeah. in our stuff. I don't think there are any other acronyms. At the very least, it jumped out at me, but I think it's, I think it's maybe the wrong idea. For sure, this list is very weird, though. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's just let's just fold everything in. Where's that Meg letter? Right here. Uh, dear listening friend, I've been having a lot of fun seeing the correspondence between you and Jasper. He is funnier than I first thought. Yeah. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's a real hooch, so she's enjoying him. Yeah. You should know that everything is going well here. <laughs> there was a schedule hiccup, but everything is fine now. Like, this reads as if she knows what Felix is saying to us. Yeah, It is right. like, I can cover for that. Right. thing the sheriff thought was uh, really skeptical uh, or was skeptical of. It was more trouble than it should have been to make all that time up. I am looking forward to my trip. I've been planning it for a long time now. There are so many beautiful things to see and photograph. Everything is very positive. Thanks for listening. Uh, Meg Gibson, Inspector, Listening Friends of America. Yeah. Uh, weird stuff, Meg. Very. Yeah, I don't feel comforted in the least. So presumably this travel to-do list right. is hers. It's on Bozeman, Montana letterhead. Um, and I'll just read off a few, some of which are very weird. Buy new DSLR. Make bed. Request colon new colon ID badge. And Jennifer says Meg lost her ID card because Sylvia has it. Oh, yeah, maybe that's true. Yeah. But also ID cards play in heavy because we've got uh -huh. this uh, bloody ID card as well. Yeah. Uh, piece of time. Assigned, centered from the heart, first to Waterton Lakes, then Teddy Roosevelt, then Payette, then somewhere Yellowstone, something comma, just like totally blank. Yeah, yeah. Comma, Yellowstone. Passport, left alone. Right. Food, organize travel itinerary, allocate resources, green jacket, yellow backpack pack, pack. sleeping mat, make bed, again, Mm -hmm. Brush teeth, wind clock, set time, clean gears, wind clock, set time. 
clocks much, Meg? Hey, Meg, clocks a mundo. Yeah. We get it. You like clocks. <laughs> Why don't you marry them? Why don't you and Jasper marry some clocks? Mm-hmm. Um, sounds like a clue with map directions. Yeah, I know. We should, we should try to chart out these points on a map. Yeah. The other thing that I thought of in reading this, maybe we can make words into acronyms that will give us meaning. What do you mean? Like, oh, okay. Bad example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad example. But uh, 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 organized travel itinerary. Organized travel itinerary. Right. OTI. Ito. Judge <gasps> Ito. He's been behind the Jasper from the very is a start. criminal. <gasps> Judge Ito has put away criminals. Judge Ito was responsible he for had a guilty miscarriages of justice in the entire state. And Judge Ito oh, had a fine. guilty conscience about oh, it. This goes so much deeper than I thought. Oh, my oh, God. God. <sighs> this goes all the way to the top. Ito. We could save the world. Let's do it. (laughs) 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 Ah! Um, But yeah, like O-T-I. If if that spelled a word, it would be both an acronym and a secret message. So maybe that's an interesting thought. Maybe that could explain some of why some of these... um, List things are so weird. Yeah, make backpack pack. Yeah, right. MBP. Right. Do we need that double P? Like, is or I mean, that's not double P, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. why? Yeah. There's the obvious, which is like maybe she is not in her, you know, like of sound mind. She's repeating herself. Mm-hmm. She says make bed twice. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, yeah, maybe I, I do this will end up being like, a weird cipher that we have to like go to this letter yeah, and maybe. go to that. You know what maybe. I mean? Go to that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it feels like it's very specifically mm-hmm. written. Yeah. Michelle says, um, sounds like she has a hidden message in between the list. Like her badge is in the yellow bag and can find it somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Could be. Uh, Christy says, make bed needs to be on a to-do list. Can't remember <laughs> to do that without the list. Oh, it's got to be on there twice. Absolutely. Somewhere in the middle between the two make beds. It's like, Go to bed. You get thrown <laughs> off course. Yeah. Or like, you know, buy new DSLR, make bed, request new ID badge, jump in bed, mess it up. Right. Food, so left alone, make bed. Remake bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Make a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, we should. Wind clock, set time, Good clean God. gears, wind clock, set time. And a lot of colons going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, okay. And like locations from the heart or whatever it says. Yeah. Centered from the heart. Right. First, let's let's do. The, oh well. What? Okay. So then. Oh, from the heart. Yeah. So maybe we need to oh, use Meg's Christy. letter in conjunction with this grotesque paper doll that we have. Let's do that. Let's, yeah. Let's jump into Mr. Body. Right. Um. So I went ahead uh, as previously took stated. the liberty. I do not like cutting up mm-hmm. things that come in the boxes. So I made scans of all of the, uh, the, the paper body men and put them on my computer there. And, uh, in addition to that, I took all of the organs and I separated them awesome, so that we Will. can float around and put things wherever we want. So good. So here's my first right off the bat thought about this. Okay. I think you're right about the Meg thing. So we'll mm-hmm. talk about that in two seconds, but yeah. I just want to say, the two men in the middle here. Oh, I also uh, specifically arranged them to look like they're uh, standing in a chain holding hands. <laughs> just want you to know that when I was putting this together, I spent a little extra time. I just noticed to that. make them all hold hands with each other. I deliberately, I intentionally, deliberately did that. I'm very proud of it. You did a good job. Thank you. So the two fellows in the middle, with all the muscles, m- the muscles don't really allow you to like drop organs right, in there, right? We'd right. be putting we'd be putting sloppy intestines over this guy's nice abs. Yeah. So I'm led to then think that the organs go with these mm-hmm. like yes. skeletal yep. people. But at the same time, we have four organs, we have four bodies. Right, right. Right. And like why? Yeah. Um the other thing is, and I'll expand them here, the four organs that we have mm-hmm. are the small intestine, stomach, Liver and large intestine. Um, if indeed they're meant to go one to each of these uh, bodies, would this give us an acronym? So it's like L I. Oh, interesting. L I S L S I, or you know something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, will it spell a word or? But I also I think let's do the Meg thing that you just pointed out, or at least try to go down that road. Yeah. Um, to see if it yields anything, because Meg says centered from the heart. Right, so, but, but so what does that mean? Here, you know, like first to watered in lakes. This sounds like slang for a doctor. About t- 
Like, <laughs> yes, yeah, like watered in lakes, the bladder. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, you got something wrong with your watered in lakes. Hmm. Not to mention the old Teddy Roosevelt. I, I like to get my hands in there, see what's going on. Let's not even talk about the Yellowstone. You know what's weird about the intestine in this drawing? Doesn't it look like the wiener is coming from the intestine? You know I, mean, what I, mean? I mean, I think that's the colon. But Oh, that is the colon. Yeah. It looks like a wiener, kind of. All right. Yeah. Um, I cut out a thing in the unboxing where Kristen goes, oh, it looks like a bat's face when we were looking what? at this. And, uh Looks like a bat's face. Yeah, when did gonna, I say that? I'm going to leave everybody to figure out what it meant. It was about one of these four bodies. I don't remember that I at cut it out of the all. video because it was gross to me. But anyway. What? I don't remember that at all. And then I just all. put it right back in this video. <laughs> Looks like a bat's face. Yeah. What the hell was I talking about? Kristen, we're moving on. All right. Charles says, Meg may have a form of dysgraphia, inability to write or type coherently. People with it may type extra letters or double words. That's very interesting. That is interesting. Kara got a real nugget. Looked uh, looked it up. Each area is north, south, east, and west of Bozeman. Bozeman, Montana. Interesting. Let's let's hit up that map too because yeah. we can do both at once, kind of. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Maps. Let's travel to Bozeman. Okay. Here we are in Bozeman, Montana. Now. Let's go ahead and water it in the lakes. National Park in AB. Oh, Canada. Hmm. Watered in lakes is like way north then. Yeah. It wasn't loading. There's nothing there. So, I mean, it is above Montana. Uh-huh. Where is... And Bozeman is here. Right. So it's pretty far north mm -hmm. of Bozeman. Okay, so watered in lakes. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we even sort of do something a little goofy? I'm going to take a picture of this. Okay. And we're going to bring it into PowerPoint, get a new slide going. And I'm going to bring everything here. All right. This way we can sort of drop pins. That's a good idea. Right. So we know that Bozeman is approximately right about here. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not being I'm not being exactly exact, but oh come on, man. Right about here. Mm -hmm. This way we can establish our home base. I'll make it purple. I like purple. I don't know what this means, but the heart could be I'm gonna butcher this. Cordeline. The heart could be Cordeline. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, now we're going to go, we're going to look up Teddy. I mean, all right, <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt National Park, North Dakota. Charles says use directions. You can add multiple locations and it will all stay in picture. Oh, thank you, Charles. So then up, down. We'll start Bozeman here. Teddy is there. Let's get those watered and legs back. Or well, let's do them in order. Sorry. Not mm -hmm. to be neurotic. No. Jennifer says that Cordeline is a city in Idaho. Huh. Okay. Triangulated between Bozeman and Waterton Lakes. All right. Uh, Payette. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not Teddy Roosevelt Road. Teddy Roosevelt, I said North Dakota. So parks. We're talking about specifically parks. Mm -hmm. Payette, I mean, lake. Uh, I'm going to count that. So up, right, left. And what's the fourth? Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So everything is a park except for Payette Lake. And... Yeah, so this would be, yeah, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit because it would be north, east, west, south. Does this make the shape of anything in the I wouldn't go literally by body? this because this is Google trying to, to best figure out how we can get first oh, from oh, Bozeman oh, okay. to Waterton, then from Waterton to yeah, Theodore, yeah, yeah. then from Theodore to Payette, then from Payette to Yellowstone. Yeah. So it should be more sort of like cross-shaped because, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean... 
Or should we be being literal? I can see a large intestine here. <laughs> I don't know. I, know. I know it's stupid. I mean, what if we take Bozeman out? Can I? Um, yeah, I just see a squiggle. Watered into Theodore to Payette to Yellowstone. <laughs> Don't worry, Christy. We are on track to not solve anything. Hey. By all means, go help your mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were dealing with some hecklers. No, no. Um, yeah. All right. Payette has a national forest, Charles says, because, yeah, it seems to be all about the parks. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's just hold on to that. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Okay. Ah, Ness Pierce. Ah, of course, the Ness Pierce. Of course. Of course. I knew it. Uh, but yeah, I was I do, reading about them in the Twin Peaks book. I do like that. Even like it goes through Bozeman no matter what. Uh huh. Right. It does seem like it would be a weird path to chart. She's starting here. And then is it, is it? Yeah, that is strange. Centered from the heart. Maybe Bozeman is the heart. I know. I, I was just thinking that. And Kara said the same thing. We all uh, are on the same track. Yeah. 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 yeah centered from the heart. Bozeman is the heart. Right. So maybe Bozeman should be in here. I wonder if I can. Could it be oh, something? Oh man, Google's so much better than I thought it was. <laughs> I can like drag things around. Could it? Because I'm trying to connect this. I don't know why I'm stuck on connecting this letter to the body thing. Oh shit! I just lost what I was thinking. Damn it! Could it be like if we see what direction she's going? Like first I went here, then there. It helps us figure out what of the organs go in which of the bodies. I know one, two, three, four. It right. feels and, right, and organs. Yeah. Like it does feel like could there be directional things? I think there's a connection. And the heart reference. Centered from the heart, then you do this, then you do that. Like Yeah. And one of the what organs we don't be? have is a heart. Right. And it's like Jasper's all about taking things apart. Right. So we've got these separate body pieces. She's got these separate places. Right. This is maybe big. But what if like, you know, they're taking people apart and she's taking some of their body parts. Like she's taking the small intestine to water and lakes, taking the stomach to Theodore Roosevelt National Park, taking the liver to Payette and taking the large intestine to Yellowstone. Right. Because she's under Jasper's spell. Right. Very. I think that could be something. Jasper's spell is also one of my favorite uh, <laughs> softback. Softback. Soft cover. <laughs> Maybe the location of the organs and body go to each location. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what yeah, do we yeah, do with yeah. that? I know, I know, I know, I know. I also noticed here in her to-do list that there is some strange capitalization, but really maybe only in one place, eh, two. Piece of time that is, assigned. That is weird. And then yellow backpack pack, capital right. Y on yellow, capital B on backpack, and pack, the ancillary pack, doesn't have a capitalization. So what if the capitalized... Letters, Letter, mean something. Yeah, or an anagram. Maybe. Become an anagram. Oh boy. Well, that wouldn't be an anagram. That would be a um... granny gram. What do you call it? Acronym. The... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why don't we we can type that out fairly quickly? Yeah. Right? Um, let's get some red going, and we're gonna do special elite, one of my favorite fonts, and let's just do this. <laughs> Travel to do. Buy new DSLR. I'm just gonna do them line by line. Mm -hmm. Make bed. Request new ID badge, uh, piece of time assigned, centered from the heart, first to Waterton Lakes, then Teddy Roosevelt, then Payette, Yellowstone. Which and that space, very comma, Yellowstone is something. Yeah, very specifically a blank, then a comma, Yellowstone, which does also, I mean, first, then, then, last, right? Because she's saying first to Waterton Lakes, then Teddy Roosevelt, then Payette, blank Yellowstone. It implies that that word should be last, but we're not seeing it. So I wonder if that's supposed to screw us up. So because that's a theory, I'm going to put in parentheses an L. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Passport, left alone, food, organized travel itinerary, allocate resources, green jacket, yellow backpack pack, sleeping mat, make bed, brush teeth, Wind clock set time clean gears wind clock set time. And all of that gives us bloop. Right. Just slop. I just went through while you were doing that and I 
put together the letters that are weirdly capitalized, and it's just B-A-B. So, you know, I don't know if Bab is anything. I know. Yeah, like it doesn't sp- spell anything vertically. Um. Yeah. Also, I don't know if it means anything, but um, he spells discrete wrong in the letter. He spells it D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E. Who does? Jasper. Jasper does? Yeah, where is it? Got to be discrete. Yeah, discrete. Yeah. Just determine a discrete cause for this ironic and deadly phenomenon. It might not yeah. be anything, but yeah. I noticed it. Ugh. Oh, I also want to look up uh, the word anthropoid. Oh, yeah. I've learned recently that the human body may sometimes develop a dysfunctional immune system. An immune system so misguided will recognize healthy parts of the anthropoid body, not as integral to the function of the body as a whole organism, but as threatening to the overall survival of the anthropoid system. Right? Right. No idea what an anthropoid is. Me either. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. Can solve it now. Uh, Jennifer says, are the C colon P C K related to do's directions. I'm sorry. Can you be? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, she just, she uh typoed clock. Oh, are the are clock the... related to do's directions? Maybe. Directions. I mean, maybe like hands of a clock or something, but they're like the four cardinal yeah. directions basically. Like I just don't, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it would be. It's wind clock, set time, clean years, wind clock, set time. So there's not really like a directional in there. Ooh, there's a movie called Anthropoid. Oh, okay. With Jamie Dornan. That's a hard name. Oh, it came out two shades. years ago? With, what does uh, this mean? This oh, man, uh, C- Cillian Murphy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'll open that. What does Anthropoid? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, characterized by flat face, dry nose, nose, small and mobile ears, and forward facing eyes, comprising humans, apes, old world monkeys, and new world monkeys. Wow. So we're anthropoids. Okay. Okay. So it's just a complicated word. Right. Wow. Okay. Weird. Yeah. So it's just being smart and fancy. Yeah, I guess so. Calling humans anthropoids. Yeah, I doubt he could be referencing this movie. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless he's just like a big film buff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also want to talk about the acronym stuff that he gets into, just because since we're focused on it, we may as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, he does also talk about how nosy he finds the sheriff to be. And yeah. Felix keeps talking about, like, the sheriff made drive off or ride off into the sunset. It seems like both Felix and Jasper are yes. setting up for the sheriff to disappear. Yes. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Maybe I could follow through where they fail to put things together. Talking about doctors. I am interested to know what kind of acronyms they use. Have you noticed how many acronyms doctors use? They are efficient devices, acronyms. They pull together separate pieces and describe the movements, direction, process, or purpose of a thing while only using the first letters of its component parts. So that makes me think again that the body parts are some sort of, he's talking about an acronym with the first letters of the body parts. Cause they all come together yeah. to yada, yada. Yeah. Well, also he says that they describe the movements, direction, right. process, and purpose. Right. Exactly. MDPP. Oh, MDPP. Medical doctor PP. <gasps> oh my God. We figured it out. Hey, that's why I thought the large intestine thing was a wiener. Jasper, we caught you. Yeah. And you're gross. Thanks to you, Jasper's behind bars. Uh, yeah. Well, write the na- write the first letters of the body parts. Yeah. On here. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. M D P P. M D P P. Okay. O D P P. Small intestine. Stomach. Stomach. Liver. Large intestine. Sills. Window sill. Yeah, I mean, if we're, but that's not really an acronym if we're just mixing them. Yeah, up. Yep. But like. I L L I'm down with sill and then that would leave S I uh-huh. is sill sill is like, I don't know if it really spells right, still not word, word, yeah. word, 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 word. Yeah. Ah, man. It's also not an acronym. And the, right. And the dang old bodies. Yeah. I just like, don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I know they're all internal. So like the liver is like somewhere on a side ish, right? Like, uh, yeah, all right, that's the liver. And, uh, like, let's give him the colon back, the large intestine backwards on him. Yeah. All right, well, well, that's interesting. Hold on. 
What? That, this is the only guy that's facing the wrong way. Oh, interest. Yeah, that is weird. That seems. That's an interesting discovery. Important, right? Yeah. Huh. Or is it? Hang on a second. Let me give this guy. Let's just. I'm just going to put stuff places real quick. Front and I wonder back. If we can get an image of the intestine. I wonder if we can see which one of these is backwards. Yeah. Right? Is yeah. one of these backwards? Interesting. Anthropoid. Uh, 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 the liver. Uh, uh, illustration. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Guys, um, don't tell us anything yet, but I'm just curious. Are some of you guys who are watching, have you solved this box already? I'm just curious if we have people watching who like know what's up. Yeah, I know that sometimes people like to mm -hmm. see us catch up. Yes. So yeah. Just curious. I mean, yeah, this this also calls out something important. The the liver that mm -hmm. we were provided looks nothing like any liver I've ever seen drawn before, and this is just driving that home. <laughs> like the liver we have does not resemble like these drawings of livers. Yeah. So it's a different view. That's weird. What do you think of that? It almost feels like it's like top down or, I mean, could it be backwards? Right? It just like yeah. bottom left here, the liver. I mean, it just doesn't look like any of this stuff. Yeah, that's strange. So we've got one thing that's a different view. Do we know where this came from? Like nobody said, like I've sent you a fun. Yeah. No. no. By the way, I remembered the bat thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Small intestine illustration. Yeah, I'm sure that tracks. A bunch of slop to me. Yeah. Um, we're getting a lot of large intestine here, which does seem to correlate to what we're seeing here. People are saying it looks like a diseased view. liver. Diseased liver. Interesting. Uh. Uh, well, that's not textbook. Yeah. The uh, I can tell you from just looking at this, the large intestine appears to be arranged as if you're facing the front of somebody. Mm -hmm. So this belongs yeah. to th one of the three front, front facing, facing people. Yep. Um, the small intestine itself, I guess it's hard to really tell. Yeah. Although this one matches the closest. Also would appear to then be a front-facing view. Right. Okay. Um, I'm glad we decided to search for illustration. Yeah. Stomach illustration. Uh, oh, the tummy should be at a more of an angle with the thicker part being higher. Well, up. I mean, but this is a, this is assuming that you're cutting so this fun. out. and. No, I know. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that what we have in front of us is oh, okay. uh, directly correlating to what we have on the left. So yeah, the tummy should be more sort of like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then there you go. Like that also looks like you're facing head on. So the liver goes with this backwards person. Right. And it does look different. Yeah. So prepare to cover your eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm searching for disease liver illustration. I don't know how well that's going to work. Yeah. Careful people. Stomach is not front. Oh, is front facing. Yeah. Susan. Yeah, yeah. Was Sylvia so. the one who was stabbing people in the liver? I don't think so. I don't think there's been any Sylvia violence talk. No. Just Sylvia, Sylvia, uh, Jasper friendship slash love talk. Oh my gosh. What a horrible image to, sh to show on a stream. Oh, oh God. God, cover your eyes. No, I'm so sorry to upset everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, even still, I'm not seeing something that lines up with this. Letter. That kind of looks like. Yeah. I mean, kind of, I get, I, but no. the shape is weird. I can kind of see that the shape is yeah. weird. Yeah. I'm going to say that the liver goes with the backward facing person. I think so too. Right? Mm hmm. And uh, yeah. And go again, somewhere around here ish. Yet, what is the significance? I know. And like, it's not as though we know names of each of these four bodies. Right. So that we can be like, oh, the liver's with him. But like, let's just for the sake of argument, mm -hmm. let's say the tum tum sure. goes sure. here. Whatever. Yeah. Let's give. This guy, the small intestine. Mm -hmm. Let's give this guy the large intestine. Okay. Does this look like anything? I know. Do, like, does this just do anything? And, and like, I don't think there were any other markings on the paper version that like would really lead me to believe no. an order of of things. Like, yeah, I'm I'm. I'm at a loss. The one thing that I guess I will 
point out is this guy all the way on the right uh-huh. on his spine or whatever is here. Is this a belly? Button? I know. I know. I was saying the same thing. There's like a dot. I here. think, it, I think it is, I guess. It almost felt like for like a paper doll to pin yeah. clothes on or something. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, they have that yeah, on yeah, other yeah. ones. The liver thing is not part of this story. They have it on the other f- ew, fleshy what? guy. The belly button. So I think it is a belly button. Really? Mm-hmm. It's on both of these dudes. Yeah, it's not on the guy with the back. So they're not like no. really calling out places to pin stuff. Yeah. Boy. Let's take a look. I'm just grasping straws. Let's take a look at this the badge, the security badge. Yeah, that's like the one thing that we haven't really discussed. Right. Okay. Clark Love. Uh, yeah, read out some of the things you got there. Huh, there is something maybe interesting. Okay, so it's Clark Love, ID number CL, and then this could be nothing, but there was like a drop of blood covering L418. So like it's kind of covering up the L there, so it kind of just looks like 418. Assignment, landscape maintenance, keyholder license, listening Friends of America, and then there's the bloody thumbprint on it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I took... uh both a picture of like what it looked like right out of the box and mm-hmm. I scanned the actual mm-hmm. ID itself. That dot is on the paper. Right. That covers his letter here. And I right. it looks purpley to me. Maybe it is supposed to be I think it's supposed to be blood. Okay. Um keyholder licensed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Landscape maintenance. I almost wanted to scan that barcode. Like aren't there oh, barcode yeah. scanner apps? It would be insane if they had I think it would have been I could scan it in my Weight Watchers app and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, I wonder if that would work. Would that do anything? Give it a shot. What the what hell? You, yeah, let's download a barcode scanner. Just see what happens. I can't imagine that they are like everything. Yeah, but you know, you never know. Yeah, that barcode scanner. We don't really have anything else to go on right now. Every single, yeah, you're right. Like yeah. I, the other thing that we could do is turn to the like inspector's notes and stuff. And like we've been <sighs> going for a while. I kind of think we have to. Yeah. I, I really don't know what. I can't make heads nor tails of this. Yeah. Why don't and we, I'm sure the inspector's notes will at least give us something where we can work towards solving it. You know? Yeah. Like it doesn't even necessarily mean that, like, Dunzo. Let's see. I've got this barcode scanner app. Trying to do its thing on this card. Just to leave no stone unturned. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I don't think so. It's working pretty hard. I'm actually glad that this yields nothing. <laughs> I think it would have been really crazy for them to have to, like, come up with a thing and translate it yeah. into a barcode. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Then, uh, yeah, why don't we, let's do the inspector's notes then. Yeah. Let's try to get a leg up here. Acronyms seem important. The other thing I will say is that Jasper calls out the acronyms in, obviously, his letter, which might mean that there are acronyms in his letter. Mm-hmm. I-D-S-A-R-W. Nope. I mean, unless you kind of want to, like, flip through that a little bit as sure. I get the inspector's notes going to see if any sort of, like, clue along those lines jumps out, because it would make sense for him to talk about acronyms to help you decode right. something that he himself... Right. Wrote. But, um, yeah. Let's see. Huntakiller.com slash. Oh, do I want the. No, no, no. I want the listening. Oh, we also didn't do the Listening Friends of America archives to see if we have another clue here. Oh, right. Right. So we should do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any words that jump out at us here? Landscape, disease, distemper. Sally Hall into it. Social horseman. I'm a bit of a social horseman, you might say. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get it. MG 132. Why? Oh, 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 no. 132. Why? Oh. Got it? Um, MG one three two Y three. Three T eight. I mean, there's definitely significance to him asking about whether we can see the purpose 
um, of us coming together with him and saying, it's not always clear until the component parts come together. Sometimes we see it only when the pieces arrive in the correct order from the start. Yeah. See, and that makes me think that like, not only, I mean, maybe he's trying to like make sure that people can't miss that the Sylvia letters are out of sequence. Yeah. But I wonder if that could mean something, you know, even more. Right. Um, but yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, so here are the inventory notes from Megan Gibson. Uh, listening friends of America letter. My letter. I really cannot wait to go on vacation. Someday I will do it. I know every direction I want to go. Yeah. So this is up, right, mm -hmm. left, down. I mean, right. maybe it's that order that even makes sense. Because it's right. not clockwise. It's not counterclockwise. But it is weird that now she's implying that she is not going on vacation yeah, yet. Yeah, someday she'll go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, patient letter, Jasper's letter. He goes right over my head with some of the things he talks about, but I bet he finds it difficult to express himself to most people. What if someone could just understand him? Mm, mm. I know. Maybe someone like Meg. Wooden gear. This is something we don't have. A very precisely made gear. I can tell that Jasper took his time to make sure the dimensions are exact. Are there any clocks that use wooden gears? So we can at least Google that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh -huh. uh, letters from an outside friend. Another letter from Jasper's friend, but it looks like this one got shredded at some point. Not by a machine, but by hand. Like someone cut it up and put it back together, mm. uh, which I think we have solved. Yes. Listening Friends of America ID badge. Clark really should take better care of his identification badge. He needs it to get the keys to the garden shed. Okay. All right. So somebody needed this to get into the garden shed. Yeah. Yeah, but now we have it. Right. And there's blood on it. I mean, I really feel like that hammers home that the body is Clark. Yes, definitely. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, anatomical folding man. This man is a little funny looking. He seems surprised. <laughs> surprised me missing all his organs? Yeah. Paper organs. I would help the little man put his organs back inside, but I do not know the correct order to put them in so they look right. Besides, I do not think that is for me to do. To-do hmm. list. So many things to do before I go. So many things. Hmm. So the order of the organs is important. And her list is, you know, weird. And um, also, there's the Listening Friends of America acronym. Yeah, I've, I've looked that up before. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so the order of the organs means something. Yeah. They could tour everyone. Yeah, Stephanie's saying that if somebody took the ID badge from Clark, they could pretty much go wherever they want. Right. I think that Jasper has pretty free reign at yeah. this point. Yeah. Um, Kara says that was most definitely the groundskeeper's body last month, without a doubt. Now, yeah, totes, totes, um, my goats. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jennifer says, "Oh my duodendum." <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> He's surprised. Ah. Ah. Uh, all right. So the order of organs is important. And Jasper's letter, there's a secret message in Jasper's letter. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I just know it. Can we... Son of a fart. I know. Can we... Does it, would it be crazy to try to get all the capital letters out of there? It's only Z's and J's. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. What do you think? G's. No, they're J's, but... <laughs> else all right <laughs> sorry <laughs> i i agree with you in that i think it won't yield anything yeah so i understand that it is a stupid thing to try to do but what do you think i don't think that's gonna yield anything why do you think that or why do you want to start there because acronyms are weird can we at least just go a little bit and see if it yields something but the thing is that won't be an acronym that's still a an, an anagram. I know. The other the only other thing that I can think though is that like like scuba right is self-contained underwater underwater breathing apparatus. Right. But scuba is also just a word that we all understand the meaning of. Right. Can we take something that he says in there and turn it into an acronym which oh. is also a word? And okay. that might be the okay. word that then plays into the uh, archives page, right? Cuz everything here is about weird words. Well, sometimes it's just something that corresponds to what we've seen in the box. So yeah. let me take a look here. Yeah. You start on the left. I'll start on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disease. We thought that was a teeth. disease. Liver. I think we already did teeth. Okay. Uh, I 
Try social. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Unless it's password protected, it's not right. Yeah. Man. Have we done call? Just because that's a body part? C-A-U-L? Password protected. Okay. Let's try the password, that freaky thing from uh, Human Tacos. Human Tacos? Yeah. Takeo Ta- Humanis? Yeah. Oh, man. Ah. Humani. Disease, Christy yeah. says. Yeah, I wonder about that as well. Uh, real quick, Susan says, I was trying to think about the literal or- order of the organs, as in what order do they process food, but the liver throws a kink in that mm. as well. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good, good thought, thought, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but see, I feel like we're just stabbing in the dark. You know, like... Yes, but... Yeah. A lot of people said disease. Did you put that in? No. No, disease was one of like the... uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, try it out. Where is it? Oh, because of the diseased liver. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Put liver. I am. Oh. Yeah, the liver does seem to be the different. Right. Liver pulls out toxins. I do think the liver is the special one. Right. Try, I mean, just try SILS, S-I-L-S. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the order of it is the acronym that is the password. Right, like... From left to right. Uh huh. L I L S I S. Right? Like, okay, yep. Maybe we create an acronym out of this in the proper order and it's the password. Right, right. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think that could be. So, so I, the only one I'm confident about is this liver because yeah. it, it's not front facing. Right. So, like, there's no reason, like, nothing would go outside the musculature. Right. So, I feel like none of them go with this guy. Right. And then like everything else has an exposed like body cavity. Gross. Mm-hmm. But that means that everything could go in slots one or two. Uh, man. So the only thing I'm confident about is that L is the second part of the acronym. Right. Well, well then we've only got four things. I mean, this guy's weird because... The bone is over the muscle. Yeah, but I wonder, but that must be like. Yeah, I know, but I'm just looking for things that could be significant in some way. Trauma nurse, I can build a body. Please build a body for us, Kara. Yes, Kara, by all means. Yeah, we greatly appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just sort of like quickly build out the possible ways that this can go. Yeah. Small intestine, liver. Uh, uh, stomach, large mm-hmm. intestine. Mm-hmm. So then it would be small intestine, liver, large intestine, stomach. Mm-hmm. Those are the reverses of each other. Yep. So now we'll start with uh, stomach. Stomach, liver, mm-hmm. uh, small Lar- intestine, yep. large intestine. Stomach, liver, large intestine, small intestine. And now we'll start with the... Uh, let's large. Start, yeah, large intestine, liver, stomach, small intestine. Uh, uh Large intestine, liver, small intestine, stomach. Those are the reverses of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, what have we not started with yet? Uh, large, uh, small, small intestine, stomach, large I intestine. I th- think he... No. Stomach? Yeah, just straight up stomach we haven't started with. Small... Oh, no, no, no. What is, what is this? Yes. So stomach, then... Liver, yeah. So then small intestine? Small intestine? Mm-hmm. That's the first one. Small intestine, stomach... Large intestine. Oh, well, then, the, yeah, that's everything then. Is that everything? Yeah, because it's three. And the oh. liver always stays in the same place. Ew, you're right. Mm-hmm. So is this literally every possibility? Yeah, I think so. Okay. If we're locking the Ooh, liver Charles into one says, spot. Charles uh, says, Sylvia, that's all I see with those groupings of letters. Yeah, they do have a lot of the components of Sylvia. Yeah, you're right. 
like phonetically yeah. spelling it. Uh, small intestine sitting on liver covering the bottom portion. Large intestine sits over small intestine. And Christy, yeah, if you know, if we have somebody who's willing to <laughs> show us their insides, yeah. that'd be very helpful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're not gonna do that on the live stream, but yeah. You understand. <laughs> uh, so let's see, is that capital? Yeah, that's capital. So I'm gonna just type in these things. Yeah. S I L S L I. No. S I L L I S. No. S L S I L I. No. S L L I S I. No. L I L S S I. L I L S I S. No. No. Little sis. Oh. Like little sister. Yeah. Little sis. Yeah. Liver. L- large intestine, liver, small intestine, stomach. Yeah. That's Lil interesting. Little sis. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Large intestine, liver, small intestine. Oh. Wait, no. Isn't that the small oh. intestine? Oh, that you was had it right. Had. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Weird. Large intestine, liver, small intestine, stomach. Yeah. Try that. Try putting that in. Little sis. Yeah. Maybe it's lowercase? Because I, I just typed in like all those. Oh, words, oh. Including little sis. Was was little sis in there? Oh yeah, it must have been. Yeah, it's one of the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that wasn't the password, but that's very interesting. I know. That's a great idea, Charles. Huh. Uh, but let's do let's do the order that that Kara just suggested. Okay. Because maybe it's maybe it's not about the four across. Maybe it is like about just like the proper. Order yeah, where of they? Things. Yeah. Oh come on. Their position in the body. There we go. So, what is it? We've got. Liver on top of stomach to the left. Wait. Stomach attaches to esophagus, which we don't have. Liver sits on top of stomach. So let's bring this to the front. So mm-hmm. liver on top of stomach mm-hmm. to the left. Uh, small intestine sitting on liver, covering bottom portion. And then the large intestine on top of that, right? Mm-hmm. Large over small. So then the order would be L I S I. Large. Well, just in terms of like what's on what, mm-hmm. it's packed in like this. Mm-hmm. Or no, because liver is behind that, right? Or no? Wait, wait, wait. Liver's, liver's in front of the stomach? Hmm. Because. Like, I also wonder, this booklet, oh, yeah, it is. This booklet opens like this. So yeah, this bony guy with no eyes is the front page. Page two is the butt man. Page three is muscle face. Mm-hmm. Page four is eyeballs. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was wondering, like, maybe, like, if we almost treat them not like diagrams of the human body, but, like, levels of decomposition. What would you do to do that? Like, what does that mean? Like, this guy's the most complete. Although right. he seems to be, the two in the middle seem like they have, like, the same level of Oh, I see what you're saying. Detail. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it's like, peel back another layer of muscle and you've got this guy with eyeballs. Oh, okay. Peel that, back some of that him and you've got Bunny Man. Yes. You know? Yes. Like, let's. Yeah, actually, what if it's not like it's a a book? It does kind of work as, like, one side is complete muscle man and then you could open it and see some deterioration more deterioration yeah and like this guy's facing away and the others are all facing forward more so it would be like this yeah again being careful so that they're all holding hands right of course charles i don't know if it is anything but i love the little sis theory i think that is very cool yeah i think that is really cool um because, yeah, th- he's facing away, then he faces forward. Right. We peel back his skin. We right. peel back more. Right. Like, ah, but I do not know. Could two people in this universe be related? It should be stomach, liver, small intestine, large intestine, if they're put in the correct order. S-L-S-I-L-I. So, okay. well, let's go back to the one that we were working on before this version. So it would be stomach, large intestine, 
No, no, stomach, liver, small uh, intestine, uh, large intestine. So liver is still on the behind guy, which is good. Yeah, that is still good. Yeah. So S L S I L I. L I, Long Island. Mm hmm. I don't know. I'm just wondering if like, yeah, they I know. correlate to other things. Staten Island. Yeah. Nothing's East Coast, but yeah. Uh, let's let's. I still feel like we'll there's try... some weird, unknowable connection to this. Yeah. Waterton Lakes, Theodore Roosevelt, Payette, Yellowstone. What about the first letters of those? Like, does anybody call Waterton Lakes National Park like WLMP? I don't know. TRNP, PL, yellow, why? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. Uh. William, I think I crave a clue. I know. What do you want to do? You want I to get crave the, a clue. All yeah. right. We're jumping into the recap section. Yeah. Uh, brace yourselves. This is where the ultimate answers lie. Yes. Uh, in past months, Chris and I have used this to check our work to see if we're correct. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're a bit rusty. We've had some time off. There was another time where we had to go to the. We did? Yeah. Okay. And I don't feel too bad about no, it. No, we did it. Uh, oh, my bad. Transformation, Awakening, Initiation. Initiation. Episode four. Here we go. So I need yeah. the envelope or the, the inventory card. All right, everybody. This is like, even if you didn't mind spoilers for the box. Yeah. This is where it might potentially get like heavily spoiled. Right. Um, it's like explaining what the things are. We'll leave the reveals alone. Yeah, but we're going to look at the hints we're gonna to look at the hints, point though, us in the right direction. Just so you know. Final warning. I need these hints. Give right. me. Letter from Jasper. Jasper says that he's interested in the acronyms doctors use, which is a hint for a puzzle in this episode. You don't But that doesn't necessarily say. mean the letter itself. Right? Well. Yeah. With the anatomy paper doll, you also receive a sheet of four different organs to cut out. Correctly arrange the organs in the paper okay. doll's cavity and consider the hint from the letter from Jasper. All right. Okay. So Lil Sis. I yeah. really like that. I do too. I really like Lil Sis. Is Sylvia his sister? Or is Meg his sister? I know. Or I is really, Meg Sylvia? That would be, oh, I would really like that. Yeah, I really enjoy that. News. North, oh, east, west, in south. Order. That's great too. Because yeah, she's going to go north, then she's yes. going to go east, then she's going to go west, then she's going to go south. That's something, Kara. News. Yeah. Lil Sis. Try putting news in the thing. What? Oh, the password. password? Yeah. Yeah, we're not even sure if disease is the right one, though. Right. No. Yeah. But that's great. Yeah. I think that that definitely is a contender. Yeah, we can confirm those things as well. Right, okay. right. Uh, letter from Sylvia Hint. Someone appears to have cut the letter into pieces. The hidden message can be read by arranging the pieces in the correct order. Which right. Did. Right. Uh, letter from Sylvia Reveal. Gear, which yeah, let's can, yeah, yeah. Let's just see. This item can be used in conjunction with another item in this episode. It is hinted at in the travel to do list. Oh, so maybe we are missing something. But yeah. If we had the gear, could we twist it to point at things? Yeah, the listening friends of America. Yeah. Uh, 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 Watermark. Yeah, the logo is a wheel. Yeah, it's round. We might just have to confirm this because yeah, that that even makes makes sense. Mm -hmm. Wind clock set time. Clean gears. Wind clock set time. Right. Gears. Turning. Okay. We might, we might just have to have that revealed. For yeah, us, yeah, for sure. Travel to-do list. Centered from the heart refers to a spot on the ID badge. Oh. The subsequent list that begins first to Watered and Lakes is a reference to cardinal directions. Biggie bam. Yeah, what's this? What's this? Centered, centered from the heart. From the heart. Love? Something to do with love? Spot on the ID badge. Oh, is it covering an L? Is it the dot? Yeah. It's covering an L on the ID bat. Well, I kind of, you know what I mean? Centered from the heart. Centered from the heart. C L L 4 1. I don't know. C L L. What did it say exactly about this? Centered colon from the heart refers, refers to a heart. spot on the ID badge. The subsequent list that begins first to Water and Lakes is a reference to cardinal directions. Up, right, left, down. North, east, west, south. Right. Yeah. So from the heart. Centered 
from the heart refers to a spot on the ID badge. Yeah, I don't get what that means exactly. North, east, west. People are saying blood. Blood south. comes from the heart. So. Yeah. Is this- oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe the outside blood? Yeah, I know. I yeah. Can't, yeah. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going wrong here. Blood comes from the heart. Yeah. Agreed. Maybe it's a key. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. North, east, west, south. Uh, yeah, just the, the the spot on the ID badge could mean two things. Because there's the obvious blood on the outside of the right of the plastic ID envelope, but then there is this dot. Right. If the dot's an accident, it means nothing. If it's not an accident, it's incredibly significant and specific. Uh, north, east, west, south. N. A. L. Hmm. No. Nope. Feels like a stretch. Let's keep reading. Yeah. Uh, ID badge hint. Mm -hmm. If you take the ID badge out of its plastic cover, you will see one red spot on the ID badge. Use the gear and the ID badge with the directional hints from the... So... Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of right then. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But how would you use the gear with the ID badge? Maybe the gear isn't just a gear. Maybe there's something on it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it says something. Yeah, maybe. All right. It's time for... Let's get the reveal on the badge. Yeah, yeah. We know about north, east, west, south. We right. don't have the gear, so we're just going to see this. So we're mm-hmm. going to flat out reveal something right now. Mm-hmm. All right? Here we go. All right, we're doing it. Align the center hole of the gear with the one red spot on the badge. The travel to-do list reads first to Waterton Lakes. Waterton is north. If the gear represents the map- map's compass, oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> Yo, I was almost right. Wait, wait, go back. I didn't finish reading it. Well, well, then let's do it. Hold on. North, like using the gear to just sort of like, yeah. I guess maybe the gear obscures a bunch of things. Uh huh. So like at the top of the gear would be an N. Like mm-hmm. here, let's, because now I know exactly what it spells. Okay. So I can, I can probably approximate the size of the, yeah. the gear. Like this isn't a perfect circle, but sure. the dot is here. Uh-huh. North, N. East, N. A, oh. West, I, South, L. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. How cool is that? Very cool. So it's nail. Love it. I love that. That's awesome. I love that. All so right. let's forget this. Yeah. It is, if we're even on the right one, uh-oh. Yeah, man. Nail. Mm-hmm. Is this one of the, yeah, nails right here. Oh, yes. So then we need... Ha ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. So news. Hell yeah, you're very smart, Kara. Yeah, you were very close. Yeah. Oh okay. man. Yeah. Good job. I know. Yeah. Like it's yeah. It's this is one of those things where you just go like oh yeah like yeah clicks and you're yes happy. Yeah. yeah yeah. But then we need a password. Right. Okay. A little sis. Yeah. Let's try a little sis. I'm down with that. Right. We can try the previous passwords we tried because now this is in the correct website. Trying different, like, you know, yeah. capitalizations and stuff. Yeah. Uh, 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 let me talk out loud a little bit. Yeah, we're in the nail um, thing that you click on. So we're within the nail website. So that can't be the password as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did we have anything else that jumped out of this? Um, Humani, right? Yeah. Ta- Tachio Humani. Was it T A C E O? Yeah. All caps, all lowercase, and just with a capital T didn't do anything. Capital Humani, all caps Humani, all lowercase Humani. <laughs> Maybe the organs in correct order, which is what you just said before I finished type. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you oh, did it uh, then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let me let me just I'll say it out loud as I go. All lowercase L I L S I S. I love little sis. I hope that's true. I, I, I do love too. That. I really like that. All uppercase L I L S I S. No. Uh, just capital L, mm-hmm. L I L S I S. No, just do ca- 
capital L and capital S. Okay, capital L, I, L, capital S, I, S. No. <sighs> Damn it. That feels like it's the answer. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't we just do the same thing we did before? We can do it by process of elimination, yeah. which isn't necessarily the most satisfying thing in the world. But still. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. I'm going to assume all caps for now. Okay? Mm-hmm. S-I-L-S-L-I. S-I-L-L-I-S. Sillies. <laughs> S-L-S-I-L-I. S-L-L-I-S-I. L-I-L-S-S-I. L-I-L-S-I-S. I love little sis. Me too. All right, let's go all lowercase. Yeah. S-I-L-S-L-I. S-I-L-L-I-S. S-L-S-I-L-I. S-L-L-I-S-I. L-I-L-S-S-I. L-I-L-S-I-S. No, maybe this is not it. Just capitalizing the first letter. S-I-L-L-S. No, no, no. S-I-L-S-L-I. S I L L I S. S L S I L I. Just be careful. So Kara says should be S L S I L I. So try that. S L S I L I. S L S I L I. Okay. No, that's not working for me. So it's not little sis though? Hmm. <laughs> uh, damn. Okay. L I L S S I. Do you know that for a fact? Just to confirm. L I L. Yeah. Like, did you do this and that worked for you, Kara? Or you're guessing along with us? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Nail. We're confident of. Yes. Damn it. I feel like we're so close. Hmm. Do we already get all the hints we can? I think so. Do we? All right. We're done with acronyms. Well, are we? Yeah, I know. Hang on. Consider the hint in the letter from Jasper. So that just seems like... I know. It's got to be... So maybe the liver thing, maybe the liver could move around in space. I know. That is the one assumption that we're right. making. Right, right. So it's got to be. It's got to be that. All right. I'm going to I'm going to collapse the letter from yep, Sylvia cuz yep. we're good with that. I'm going to collapse yep. the gear. I'm going to We got the cardinal directions. Yep, I'm going to collapse can. the to-do list. Yep. Uh, I'm going to collapse the ID badge. Yep. I'm going to collapse the ID badge yes. reveal. All right. Yes. So these are the two things, really. Right. Um and yeah, we've made a big assumption by saying the liver doesn't move. Mm-hmm. So let's move the liver. Mhm. All right. Let's make the liver first. Yes. Christy says, did you try liver as the password since it's the oddball of the group? Oh, good Good shot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Worth a try. Yeah. All right. So let's make liver one. So let's go liver, small intestine, large intestine, stomach. Mm -hmm. Then let's go liver, large intestine, small intestine, stomach. Then let's go, or no, we can do it way more methodically than that. Sorry. Liver, small intestine, stomach, large intestine. That way it's LSI to start. Okay. And there's no other possible combination of those. So Mm -hmm. I'm going to go liver, large intestine, small intestine, stomach, liver, large intestine, stomach, small intestine. I'm going to go liver, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. I'm going to go liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine. That should be it. Mm -hmm. If liver is the first one. Right. But that means that we have three more possible combinations. That means that we have 18 Mm -hmm. possible combinations to try still. Mm -hmm. So let's just stick with liver in first position here. Yes. L-S-I-L-I-S. L-S-I-S-L-I. L-I-L-I. S I S L L I S S I L S S I L I. All right. Well, it's liver, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Everybody. All right. Great. <laughs> great. That, great. That's just like code breaking <laughs> what we did. Can you, yeah. not, can you not whistle? No, I can. You can <laughs> show off. <laughs> so, uh, 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 how do you feel about stuff like that? Because we didn't technically solve it the proper way. Does that bother you at all? Or are you just like, no, not 
really. I the think it's still solving. The ends justify the means in code work. It's still solving it. Yeah. So, no. It's just going about it a different way. It's using a different form of logic. True. So, no, I'm fine with that. So, liver, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Yeah. And, and uh, assuming that it's this. Yeah. Uh, then it, liver, stomach, small, large. Liver, stomach, small, large. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, is still assuming that this is the proper order to view these bodies, which right. I'm not certain of, but right. whatever. All right. Okay. All right. We've got one uh-huh. page. Ooh, and look, layered over itself. Aha. Uh-huh. Well. Uh-huh. Synchronization. Heartbeat. You have heartbeat? Where's heartbeat? Right there. Ooh. Yeah. Heartbeat to synchronization. Interesting. Yeah, we really should write down these words or something hmm. right yeah let me see if i can see any other words real quick mm, i don't think so i mean but also that implies that there are sioux falls oh yeah there have been places in here as well right where is sioux my falls? uh i don't know where do you what would you say just my m y oh am i for my m for my my sioux falls South Dakota. Yeah. Why? Yeah, Susan said that what we did is the equivalent of like playing with locks in an escape room thing to figure something out. Yeah. Which I have done many times. Yeah. Yeah. The first time I ever did an escape room, there was a wall of switches and Mm -hmm. I just ran over to it. I was just flipping combinations methodically until we got out. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Yeah, everyone's saying South Dakota, which is which is beyond the range of right what we've seen elsewhere in the game. Right, but okay. Um, yeah. So Sioux Falls, heartbeat synchronization. I do feel like uh, when we have all of these words, they will combine to mean something. Yeah. But this does also look. There's a two here. Two heartbeat synchronization. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I wish the little cyst thing had panned out. That was really cool. I know. That's such a good idea, Charles. Yeah. But uh, maybe, you know, I feel like what this sort of implies is either Sylvia, Jasper, mm-hmm. their heartbeats are in sync. Right. Or Meg mm-hmm. and Jasper, their heartbeats are in sync. Mm-hmm. Or Sylvia and Meg are the same person. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Sioux Falls might be where they're going to eventually try to get to. Right. Could be a rendezvous point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. All right, let's look at the rest of the recap. Yep. What do you think? And yep. then we'll, we'll call this yeah. wrapped. Yeah, call it solved. Uh, all right, everybody. We're like truly entering the final chapter. Yes. All right. Uh, here we go. Let me just make sure that we're not missing any of the chat. Mm-hmm. Just east of what we had on maps. Yeah. Yep. All right, paper doll reveal. The organs should be arranged how they sit in the human body. The liver is put ah. down first. The stomach on top of that. The small intestine on top of that. Then last, the large intestine. And then it's red in almost like the... Re- so we, I think when we did that, we were going mm-hmm. large intestine, small intestine, stomach, liver. It was yeah. meant to be in the order on which you place them, not the order that right. you look at them vertically. Right. So that's interesting. Okay. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. Letter from Sylvia revealed, just to confirm. I will come exactly one month from now, 2.30 in the morning. My next letter will tell you where to go. Boom. Yeah. But again, we're not sure if these letters are right. really being portrayed chronologically. Mm-hmm. Travel to-do list. Centered from the heart, refers to the spot on the badge. The subsequent list that begins first to water and lakes is a reference to cardinal directions. This mm-hmm. is the reveal. That's yeah. not even that's funny. Okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, so the reveal still yeah. sort of like leaves you with like yeah. a little bit to figure out. And we already did this, the yeah. the ID badge reveal. Mm-hmm. Uh awesome. Cool. Awesome. I mean that was that was that yeah. was cool. Yeah. That was very cool. Absolutely. All right, everybody. We are back. You know what's cool about the paper doll thing with them sitting on top of each other? I was thinking before and I didn't say anything. I was wondering if like you placed them in a way and it was significant that these are two parts that could be on top of each other. So then it's like stacking uh, what the stuff is. That is a good idea. So that's kind of cool that. I mean, it, it certainly implies you, stacking. Right. Like if you were to have them in the right order, you close this and they're all stacked, yep. which is the order. But which it's is also very cool. a brilliant misdirect. Yeah. That there are four images mm-hmm. of bodies and four organs. Right. It makes you feel like you are supposed to do what we were trying to right. do. Boom, boom, Give boom. One organ to one of the bodies, but right. stack. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Very cool. Brilliant deduction, Roger. Yeah. 
Okay. It's a little late, but thank you. Well, hey, whatever. Better late than never. <laughs> I was going to say it before. We, st- I, we still, I don't think, would have figured it out no. even with that no. insight. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kara and Susan, you're both saying the same thing. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, the letters are definitely out of order. Yeah. I just mean, is there a rhyme to the reason of how we're seeing them? Right. That's what I mean. Right. There must be. There must be. Yeah. Because why have them out of order? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's going to do it for us. Yeah. Uh, for this episode of Hunt a Killer. Thank you all mm-hmm. so much for tuning in. Yeah, thank, thank you all you. so much for your help. I think it's yes. uh, uh, obvious to say that we would not have uh, covered as much ground as we did without you. For sure. So yeah. Thank you. Thank and you Destiny, so it's going to be on YouTube. So you're late, but you can watch it later. Yeah, true. We're going to yeah. be reposting this video over on youtube.com slash talk bomb, mm-hmm. where all of our Hunter Killer unboxings and theory videos live. We have yep. done uh, season one, yep. Awakening, season two, Transformation, now season three, Initiation, mm-hmm. as well as Empty Faces, The Woods, yes. which we'll be returning to shortly. Yeah. And the premium boxes, 1934, 1968, 1973, soon to come someday. Day, Hawthorne Junction, yeah. which I've heard amazing things about. I know, I'm very, very intrigued about for. that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's youtube.com so cool. slash talk bomb where you can see mm-hmm. everything we've ever done in the past. Uh, if you ever want to catch a future live stream, we do those on facebook.com slash the haunted sponge. So make sure that you like that page. Follow at Haunted Sponge on Instagram, on uh, Twitter as well, yep. where we will post the announcements of when we will be doing the next live stream so mm-hmm. that you can. Uh, come hang out with yeah, us and help us. Yep. And uh, you out there might also also be interested to know that Kristen and mm-hmm. I do our own horror podcast called Guide to the Unknown. Yeah. Which comes out every Friday, uh, meaning that literally in two hours a new episode drops on iTunes, on YouTube, on Spotify, mm-hmm. on all podcast apps. Every week, Kristen and I talk about different monsters, urban legends. Uh, Anything from the world of weirdness, world. exactly, basically, and creepiness. Yes. Yeah, so we basically teach a topic to each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you enjoy this, you'll definitely enjoy that. You can find all that at talkbomb.com slash GTTU pod. Yeah. Uh, and you can find links to all social media, links to every podcast app for that as well. I think you would all really enjoy that, to yeah, be honest. It's sweet. Never listened to it or watched it before. It's just mm-hmm. like this. It's a video show if you yep. want to be a video show, but it's also got an audio only version so you can listen out on the go. Mm-hmm. We know you have busy lives. Yeah. Oh, we get it. Yeah, we aim to please. We're accommodating you. Yeah. You can also follow us on social media if you just want to talk to us. Yep. I'm at Chillin' Kristen on Instagram. I am at Haunted Sponge. So uh, thank you all once again so much. We will see you in a future video when we will get even deeper into the bizarre psyche of Jasper flowers. That's right. Even flowers and the whole thing about groundskeeping and overgrowth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Just food for thought. Yeah. Our final thought at the end of our program. That's a little strange. Yeah. Huh. Uh, But we all hope that you had a good time. Yeah. uh, And we will see you again in the future. But until then. Yeah, totally. Happy hunting.